Arya High Tech Energy AHE provides turnkey supply of biomass gasifier based power plants and gasifiers for thermal applications. AHE takes credit for running successfully its own concern, Arasi High Tech Biopower Private Limited, the single largest and first biomass gasifier based grid-fed power plant in the whole of the country from 2002. The group entered the renewable energy sector in a big way from 2006 in the name of Arya High Tech Energy and executed more than 15 large-scale projects within the span of three years. Here we are at the plant. The plant uses state-of-the-art technology. The cutting-edge IISC gasification technology was developed by Advanced Bioresidue Energy Technology Society ABETS, part of the Combustion Gasification and Propulsion Lab CGPL, Department of Aerospace, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. AHE is a licensed user of this technology. This is a modern fuel flex system that can use agro residues as fuel. It has a unique downdraft gasifier with an open top with twin air entry system. Raw material with a moisture content of about 12 to 14 percent is transported to the yard and then to the godown. It's transferred seamlessly for processing via a conveyor belt. A shell breaker efficiently breaks the shells on the case of coconuts to the required size and sieved to remove the fines. A weighed quantity of biomass using an online weighing scale is fed to the top of the gasifier using a skip hoist. The gasifier reactor is a special container made from high-grade steel with multiple layers of refractory lining inside. As the biomass slowly moves down in the reactor, it is first dried and then partially oxidized by air let in through the nozzles provided around the periphery of the reactor and protruding into the reactor. This is followed by a reduction reaction as it comes into contact with the partially oxidized carbonaceous material. The char is then drawn out from the bottom of the reactor. The producer gas generated is a mixture of combustible components such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen and methane along with carbon dioxide and nitrogen. The producer gas generated then flows into the multi-cyclone at a gas outlook temperature of 500 to 550 degrees Celsius. The heavy particles settle and only the clean gas is passed out from the cyclone. The hot gas is cooled and scrubbed in a series of scrubbing towers where it is directly scrubbed with high velocity water sprayed through specially designed nozzles. The gas is then moved to the fabric filter for further filtration where remnants of the suspended materials are removed from the gas. At the start, the gas is flared till such time the gas composition is suitable to be fed into the engine. The cleaned gas is then fed into the engine by booster blower. The electricity generated is raised to grid voltage and then synchronized with the grid. It's a valuable byproduct, biochar. The byproduct from the coconut shell is activated carbon, which is exported. This also contributes to the viability of the project. The thermal energy available in the engine exhaust and the engine can be used for process heating and cooling. Quality assurance is a part of the AHE promise. This is the only design where rigorous tests have been performed over a wide range of fuels. Choosing AHE means choosing better productivity and enjoying large cost savings on energy. 
an alternative energy source that helps you gain a competitive advantage. The low capital cost Quick ROI Accelerated depreciation Huge cost savings IT exemption for 9 years applicable to independent power projects and the eligibility for the central government's capital subsidy make this a smart choice. Here are some of our key clients. Implemented power and thermal plants. Looking forward, we constantly strive to innovate, improve and expand our offerings.